dear student today we will discuss about the topic uh, family planning regarding the subject community for me see uh, by definition family planning allows individuals and couple to anticipate and attain their desired number of children and the spacing and timing of their birth so from this it is clear that this basically depend upon the, the individuals or the couples just to uh, think once they, if they have desired for children and especially they have to think for the gap amongst uh, their uh, children or that is related to the birth so this depend upon the couples and individual and this too much important so the decision of when and even whether to have children is basic human right this is basically the right of every individual in a community in a society so if they have to if they have a desire for children so it's their basic their this is their basic right and yes they have to think for all the aspects that is the they which have a direct effect on the maternal health especially on the children as well as they have a direct effect on the community society so a lot of factors are basically there so that's why every individual and every uh, couples uh, have the rights uh, once if they have to decide about the children so yes of course but the gap uh, among their children has yeah, the space regarding that uh, the time related to the the birth of children this is too much important and when one they have to decide it's too much important and depend on depend on the couples and individuals so a lot of parameters they have to keep in mind and then they have to decide for their uh, children is too much important so the international conference on population and development held in egypt in september 1994 clearly endorsed this right so this is this was one of the conference which was basically held in egypt in 1994 and they basically focus on this human right yes yes of course this is the right of every age and every individuals in the society uh, just to think for their children and to think for especially uh, for the gap among their children and a lot of factors which are basically which every individual have to focus so this is very important so all couple individuals have the basic right to decide freely and responsibly the responsibility the number of the number and spacing of their children and have the information so i want to give a mind is too much important yes proper education and a proper information we should have to share with the individuals with the couple in a society yes and they should be familiar they should have yes of course they have a sound knowledge that let's suppose if they have a lot numbers of children so what will be the effect of these children uh, directly on the society community uh, yes of course so and what will be the direct effect on the uh, entire family of the person so this is too much important that basically yes uh, uh, yes the person sh show the person should have a response the person should have to think in a responsible way just uh, once if they have to uh, desire for children and especially the person how to think uh, for the gap uh, regarding the children this is too much important so uh, one thing keep in mind uh, uh, family planning program provide services that are yes help people achieve the number of children they desire yes the main object of this program is this yes of course if a person have to desire for the children so yes he, he or she may yes of course this is their right as already mentioned in one of the uh, international conference that was held that this is their uh, right uh, yes of course if they have to think so yes they may have the respective number of children the next one reduce the risk of sexually transmitted infection so this of course this is also one of the important uh, of the family planning uh, so basically just to reduce the spreading capability which is due to sexually transmitted disease 
and to improve the health of women and children so obviously uh, if in a reasonable if in a responsible way if a person think so obviously this have a direct effect on the entire community or entire family of that person uh, family planning benefit for women's health this is too much important simply providing contraception to women who desire it could reduce maternal death by as much as one third so obviously uh, in the asian society in under developing country this is one of the fact this is one of the problem that uh, yes they never think uh, in a proper way there is no proper education of the people of the of the couples or the uh, individuals uh, that they have a lot number of children and this uh, obviously there is no if there is no gap uh, between the two consecutive so obviously this have a toric effect on the maternal and that's why a lot number of deaths are reported in our society so if yes if there is a family planning program and uh, yes if there is a proper education and counseling of the couples individual in a society in a community on a community base so obviously by this way we will uh, prevent the um, maternal mortality and morbidity so we will decrease the uh, maternal health so we will decrease the uh, death ratio regarding the um, maternal uh, problem so obviously by this way let suppose if we have a proper uh, counseling proper education of the uh, individual in a community or a society so we will protect the maternal health and the main objective of the family planning is that just to focus on the maternal and child health there is too much important so obviously we should have to think so on the given mind various uh, ways procedure uh, are used just to for the family planning and yes they are very important so one of the uh, ways just to take support of the hormonal therapy so we are using uh, contraceptive a lot numbers of contraceptives are basically used and there is the first one hormonal contraceptive so hormonal contraceptives are methods which are systemic in nature and contain either progestogen it means progestin combined with estrogen or progestin alone so it means that contraceptive basically these are the methods procedures drugs medicine which are basically used to avoid conception and to avoid conception this is too much important so as for the hormonal contraceptive concern so here we basically take the support of uh, different uh, uh, substances especially hormones and most commonly we are using the two hormones that is the estrogen and progesterone so progesterone simply we can say progestin or progestogen so progesterone is maybe progesterone we can say that's the synonym for the progesterone, progestin and progestogen. Progest, uh, so mostly we are using the combined one uh, that is the progestogen, uh, progestin is to be combined with estrogen or more or sometimes we may use progestin a lot. So different uh, uh, drugs are available that may contain the progestin progestogen alone or it may be the combination of estrogen and progestin but it's the hormonal therapy and basically we are using the two important hormones which is the estrogen and progesterone which is to be known as progestogen or progestin so these methods hormone in case of hormonal contraceptive we have the following methods so the first one oral contraceptive the next one uh, proge progestin only injectable and the third one that is the contraceptive implant so these are the three main uh, important contraceptive ways regarding the hormonal therapy there is the oral contraceptive the next one progestin only injectable and the next one contraceptive implant these are the three different hormonal ways so the first one that is the oral contraceptive so oral contraceptives yes of course they are the pens uh, that a woman takes by mouth to prevent pregnancy 
so oral contraceptive is basically used orally in order to pro to prevent the chances of the pregnancy uh, they contain two female hormone that is we have already mentioned that is the estrogen and progestin to be known as the progesterone so here we have the COCs combined oral contraceptives combined oral contraceptives basically the combination of estrogen and progesterone and the next one there is the uh, progestin only pill so which is to be known as POPs so the first one that is the combined oral contraceptive so as for combined oral contraceptive concern so combined oral contraceptives are the preparation of synthetic estrogen and progesterone which are highly effective in preventive pregnancy so what is meant by combined oral contraceptive combined oral contraceptive basically the combination of two important hormones that is the estrogen and progesterone which is to be known as progestin or progesterone so the main objective of this is just to prevent uh, the chances of the uh, pregnancy so combined oral contraceptive which is to be known as UCs are available in a pack of 21 pills so basically it contains uh, 21 pills and where the candidate how to use uh, these pill for 21 days yes on continuous basis and a break from pills taking occurs for seven days before starting a new pill yes it means that the candidate should have to use the uh, contraceptive pill for 21 days and then yes of course should have to wait for seven days and after that the person the candidate should have to start uh, the in the same way in the same procedure. in total there are 21 pills or a uh, next one there is the 28 pills where uh, hormone pills yes this for 21 days and this is the combination of active pills are 21 so we have to use that for 21 days and the break occur when seven placebo pills are taken as the last pill in each period so what what is mean by combined oral contraceptive combined oral contraceptive mean which is the combination of two hormone hormone that is the estrogen and the next one that is the progesterone to be known as progestin or progesterone so the main objective of this hormone is just to prevent especially the chances of the pregnancy and of course this is available in a uh, pair of 21 pairs so 21 pairs are there okay in one in one case and the candidate have to use on daily basis for 21 days then yes should have to wait for seven days and then should have to continue in the same way and the next one the next case in the next case there is 28 pills so the active pills are 21 should be used 21 yes then the seven are the placebo and yes in the same way but just uh, little difference is there uh, mechanism of of the coc combined contraceptive so combined oral contraceptive basically suppress ovulation process the next one it's basically taken the cervical mucus preventing the sperm penetration so obviously by suppressing the ovulation process and the next one by taking the respective area so obviously there will be decrease the penetration of the sperm toward the area the next one uh, basically make the endometrium less favorable for the implantation so endometrium is basically the region the area where which is important for the implantation uh, of the new one uh, so obviously this will basically make the endometrium less favorable for the implantation so there will be no implantation phenomena and the next one uh, basically reduce sperm transport in upper genital tract so obviously we have mentioned that it basically taken the respective area so the penetration uh, of the sperm toward the upper part that is the polypian tubes will be too much less advantage of the coc is so the first one highly effective when taken correctly yes should be uh, yes we the candidate should have to administer the recommended uh, uh, pills in a respective way and the time 
स्किल विल इज टू मच इंपॉर्टेंट इन द कैंडिडेट शुड हैव टू फॉलो सो लेस चांस ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी इज देन एज हैज ऑलरेडी मेंशन इफेक्टिव इमीडिएटली इज इफेक्टिव फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स इमीडिएटली पिल्विक एग्जामिनेशन नॉट रिक्वायर्ड प्रेयर टू यूज यस दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डू नॉट इंटरफेयर विद इंटर कोर्स सो दे हैव एनी दिस हैव नॉट एनी इंटरफेयर विद इंटर कोर्स कन्वीनियंट इन ईजी टू यूज यस दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट client can stop use any time they want to get pregnant yes this is very important just the candidate can easily stop the medicine if the candidate have a desire for the pregnant for the pregnancy can be provided by train non medical staff yes the person should be trained the person that basically provides such medication he should be he or she should be too much trained non medical staff so this was left to the coc combined order the next one is the progesterone only pill so as the name indicate basically such pill contain only the single hormone that is the uh, progesterone or is to known as progestin is the tablet must taken at the same time each day without interruption so obviously the medicine should have to be administered on daily basis without any uh, interruption this is too much important so the what is the basic mechanism again taken the cervical mucus preventing sperm penetration toward the respective area suppress ovulation mechanism make the endometrium less flowable yes we have mentioned reduce sperm transport to the upper genital part yes if we we make the area thick so obviously less there will be less penetration and the advantage effective when taken at the same time every day there should be continue continue should be used according to schedule uh immediately effective is just like the previous one pill examination not required does not interfere with the intercourse again the same and does not affect the breast feeding this is too much important because this progesterone hormone of this ability this haven't any effect on the breast feeding mechanism immediate return to fertility when stop yes by stopping the medicine so a normal fertility uh, phase will be start convenient and easy to use can be provided by train non medical staff so again in case of pup is based on only pain yes we have to take the support of only one just only single hormone that is the progesterone is present in this and uh, this have not direct effect on the breast feeding mechanism this why such candidate have to use and one thing keep in mind that basically the mechanism already clear to you people and just to suppress the ovulation mechanism and and uh, basically to prevent the penetration towards the respective area by taking the cervical the respective cervical region advantage is already clear to people so uh, the next one is too much important and there is the injectable contraceptive so injectable contraceptive or the systemic progestin preparation administered by intramuscular injection so yes obviously as from the name clear so it is most commonly administered injectably through by taking support of intramuscular route the most common type of the injectable contraceptive is dipo provera dimpa which is a progestin only it means that it only contain the progesterone and yes of course uh, injectable contraceptive given every 3 months so every after every 3 months you should have to we should have to administer such type of the hormone uh, mechanism so as far as mechanism concerned so thicken the cervical mucus preventing sperm penetration make the endometrium less favorable area uh, reduce sperm transport to the upper so almost in all cases the same mechanism is involved so this is mostly to take the area uh, yes so obviously there will be less penetration to the, of the sperm to the upper part and the ne next one most in all cases uh, less favorable of the uh, implantation area is too much important uh, especially regarding and the ovulation process advantage highly effective is already clear uh, pregnancy for 100 women during the first year of use rapidly effective 24 hours uh, intermediate uh, methods yes uh, no need just to explain uh, pillow examination not required prayer to use does not interfere with the course this is very important species
and the next one does affect the uh, breastfeeding no supply needed by client this is very important no daily pill taking the next one that is the contraceptive implant so as from the name clear the implant implant system consists of basically it contain uh, uh, six small plastic capsule uh, each capsule is about the size of a small matchstick the capsule are placed under the skin of women especially upper arm the implant capsule contain progestin called luna's still similar to the natural hormone and this only contain this respective uh, hormone so contraceptive implant it means we have to place the respective six uh, match, um, small type of the uh, capsule under the skin it will develop upper uh, upper arm region of the female candidate and basically uh, this i think this will work for five years so mechanical erection again thicken the cervical mucus preventing the sperm from penetration and make the endometrium less flavorable and uh, reduce sperm transport to the upper part of the area so highly effective advantage point of view uh, rapidly affect okay rapidly effective long term methods pillow examination not required does not interfere with the intercourse doesn't affect breastfeeding immediate uh, return toward the normal phenomena so the last one that is the emergency contraceptive emergency contraceptive is to be known as the post cutus contraceptive and most commonly uh, these are used in some condition like uh, in case of rape condom has broken uh, okay and so many other condition so if a person have emergency if a person have the problem that is uh, the related to the unprotected sex so in such condition the candidate should have to use the emergency uh, emergency contraceptive uh, which is to be known as the post cutis contraceptive and mostly we are using the lunar distal 1.5 uh, milligram so within the 72 to 48 hours yes you should a person within 72 to 48 hours uh, the person should have to administer such type of the substance in order to avoid the problem so and today what we discuss today we will discuss about the family uh, planning which is too much important regarding the uh, maternal and child health especially and of course regarding to the you know, the international conference which was here in Egypt uh, yes of course this is uh, the human right this is the right of every individual or the couples of course they can once if they have to think for the child yes of course and yeah, but they have to focus on the gap especially and the time is too much important because this has a direct effect on the community on the society and even on the entire family of the person uh, one thing keep in mind that several uh, procedures are to be used and most commonly we are using the contraceptive mechanism so in contraceptive we are using mostly the oral contraceptive so in case of oral contraceptive we can take support of two hormones that is the estrogen and progesterone but one thing keep in mind uh, sometimes this hormone may be the combination so that is the estrogen and progesterone or sometimes it may be we use alone the progesterone so we have the cocs combined oral contraceptive which is the combination of two that is the estrogen and progesterone or simply we can say progesterone mm -hmm. which is the pills basically contain 21 pills and have the person have to use on daily basis for 21 days and yes yes uh seven the gap is there and then the person should have to continue or uh, in second case yes 21 28 pills are there so for 21 21 active and the sevens are just the placebo and uh, yes some uh, mechanism so obviously this will uh, basically uh, we can say uh, this will uh, increase the thickening of the cervical area so there will be less penetration of the sperm throughout the area and yet the endometrium will become a less pleurable area for the transplantation and the next one uh, obviously 
uh, we can say this will avoid the penetration of the sperm toward the upper region. This is very important. And advantage highly effective most primarily there is uh, the process obviously don't uh, does not interfere with the non with intercourse so some advantages are there in all cases and basic mechanism is just to take the cervical region less penetration as well so this was added to the COC then progesterone uh, progestin oral pill POPs so there's basically contain only progesterone this this is very important in case of female candidate uh, yes in case of breast feeding mechanism because this have an effect on the breast feeding mechanism and yes they can be used uh, on daily basis the schedule should be followed then we have the injectable yes the injectable again this contain the progesterone only and this will for three months after three months yes you should have to administer and to be administered in terms of this is too much important in case of injectable one and uh, that is the implant so uh, yes not plant this is very important yes you should have to keep six capsule under the skin of the upper region of the female candidate and this will work for almost five years and again then in the last what we discussed in the last we discussed about the uh, important thing that is the uh, emergency or the postcitus which is most commonly used in case of uh, if there is a uh, if there is a problem regarding the uh, unprotected sex condition which is mostly related to the change to the rape or some other phenomena may be involved so in such case we have to use uh, the emergency or the post as contraceptive and mostly the new just 1.5 is used. so i think for today is sufficient and the remaining we will discuss in the coming lecture thanks